Guys, um, today I'm going to be, we're going to be talking about something called tweening, and basically tweening is getting an object and dragging it across one area to another area. And some people would like to go by doing that by adding another keyframe. No, even some people even go for another blank keyframe and draw the car again, which is the most stupidest thing. Don't do that. Insert a keyframe. Some people go try to drag it a little bit here, and then go for the next keyframe. Yeah, oops, a uh, next keyframe. And drag it across a little bit more, which gives a little bit of a movement. But don't know. That's a waste of time, and it's really inefficient. And this is when tweening comes in, and basically makes this thing move in any acceleration or speed or whatever you want. Now all you gotta do is start. Choose a starting point and a destination. And I'm gonna press keyframe. And by here, by the end, you see that like this one, this frame drags out for this long. And there's a keyframe here. I need to edit that and make it across to the destination point. This is my destination, my destination point. Now at this point, it's going to look a little like this, and obviously there's no in between, so it looks weird. So now you're going to go here and create a classic tween. Motion tweens are a bit different, but I'm going through classic tweens this time. Um, and it should look a little something like this. But something seems very off, doesn't it? It doesn't feel natural. It feels almost robotic, and because if you see all this you can see that the speed is constant the speed does not change there's no acceleration so there's no slow in and slow out and that's one of the principles of animation um, where um, things start slow and end slow and has a really fast in the middle and basically what you want to um, how you want to do that um, but before that I want to give a little example this is my ball bounce test and um, this basically shows slow in and slow out it starts really slow and then it goes really fast and then you see right as it hits the floor it slows down because the impact it carries and then shoots really fast and then you see here there's a lot less and it's better to show you on this onion skin uh, here as you can see it starts slow gets really fast and then goes fast again slow down slow 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 until it just stops and yeah, and that's a thing that you could use. I don't need to say this. Um, so how do you apply, apply that to this? Now, all you have to do is go to Properties menu. And there's something called Tween and there's something called Ease. If you make the Ease go up, it'll slow down. It'll start slowing down. It'll start fast and slow down. If you go to Ease minus negative Ease, then it'll start slow. It'll start slow and really fast. That is good for like beginning to move in a way like a car is starting up or something like that. But until then, just keep it at zero because we have a destination point. Um, and it ends here. The car stops here. So what you want to do is go press this edit easing. And there's a graph, uh, the speed time graph. Uh, and all you have to do is press this. Bring it down to what I say. What Here it says six, right? A little bit above that. That's what I like to do. Here it just bring it down whatever I want um, to around 10 a little bit half 10 that's what I like to do uh, you can have your own variation and look what happens Let me just turn off this whoa it's much more smoother now you can always edit the ease by dragging it across even further and making it look something like this or the other way around whatever it does not matter but uh, yeah um, that's how you make your um, tweening more better and you know this should be applied for any sort of animation any human full body animation to stick figure to whatever always remember this or else your movements will feel robotic thanks for watching and I'll see you next time